For us, we uh, always begin a project by measuring how public life is thriving or not. So we go out and we measure where people are walking, where they're cycling, where they're moving in general. We also measure where people are spending time and what activities they're taking part in. Um, are they standing? Are they sitting? Um, are they being active? Are they sitting in a group? And who is doing those activities, right? Are they women? Are they men? Are they young? Are they old? So we put some of this quantitative data about people together with qualitative uh, data about the nature of the place. So we have a quality criteria that talks about uh, the, the quality of the physical environment in terms of enjoyment, protection, and comfort. So we put that picture together and mix that with all sorts of other data points ranging from economic vitality, traffic, health, and growth to get a sort of baseline understanding of how the city is thriving. In a lot of our work we try to be action-oriented so we take that basic measurement and then insert an action, a, a temporary intervention, a um, test project, a program, a campaign, an event. We insert that into the built environment and then measure again. See how that impacts the chances for people to meet and interact. Who is meeting? What are they doing? What is flourishing or not based on that intervention? And then we try to refine, we try to learn from that micro um, intervention, that micro test, and see how it can be applied to macro problems, or how the micro test can be applied to long range planning, and how the short term can be uh, executed over a longer period of time. So that measure, test, refine approach is what we call action oriented planning, which is much more about using the city as a platform to test ideas, to find out what works and what doesn't, and then scale that up over time. And this stands in contrast to more traditional planning, which is closed processes, made with drawings, a select group of people contributing to the process, whereas we feel this uh, not only um, is more typical of a design process, it's more iterative, it's more uh, based on concrete experiences, but also provides an opportunity for many more people to be engaged, right? If you go out and ask a person what they want, they'll give you a certain answer, but if you go out and make an intervention that different people can smell, taste, and touch all together, you have a shared experience and, some, and, a, and a platform for much more productive um, conversation between citizen and decision maker. So this idea of action-oriented plan, action planning is something that um, we try to integrate in a lot of our work and something that we think is a really specific tool for cities to uh, show improvement incrementally over time, to show improvement in a span that relates to election cycles, but also make sure that that incremental improvement is being related to the long-term, you know, 10, 20, 30-year plan, which is so vital for, for cities.